welcome to the 11 Points Countdown! <laughs> Today we are counting down the 11 best late night talk show hosts as voted by more than 3,000 readers of 11points.com. I'm Sam Greenspan and I am joined today by making his second appearance on the show, Kyle Anderson, everyone. Thank you very much. Kyle, welcome back. Thank you, lovely to be so back. Let's get right into it. Right. The number 11 best late night talk show host ever is Arsenio Hall. I don't think you said that right. It's Arsenio <laughs> Hall. He's coming back, you know. He's, is he? Yeah, he parlayed <laughs> his appearance on Celebrity Apprentice oh, okay. into relaunching his talk well, show that makes career. Sense. Is he going to have the same type of suits with the shoulder pads that go out to like... <laughs> yeah, everything he does should recreate exactly what he was doing it in the early to. 90s. Yeah, he has to have the same triangular haircut. Same style. like Bill Clinton saxophone appearance. He'll do it. Right. What else has he got to do? He is, he is wide open <laughs> These days and ready to be back on Arsenio. Number 10, talk show host Bill Maher. You know who really likes Bill Maher? Uh, Bill Maher. <laughs> yeah. Bill Maher's a huge fan of Bill Maher. I'm not really sure he's a great talk show host, but he's definitely good at leading discussions, I he's suppose. He's managed to be on TV for a while. That's true. So that's impressive. And, that's a, yeah. and, I mean, uh, and he, he's good at saying, okay. He says right? that a lot. He does, he does say that. He's <laughs> he's very sarcastic. Yeah. So good for you, Bill yeah, Maher. Way to go. Yeah. Number nine, best talk show host ever. I can't believe this even, all right, it's Jay Leno. Okay. Which is, I'm just surprised he got the votes. Like people usually are like, well, I think he, he's such a punching bag. He's on television. And he's been on television forever in the most prominent talk show slot. And that's really all he can do, I think, at this point. Because they tried to do something else right. with him, which was the same, <laughs> but then, he sucked at it, and so they're like, "We'll just give him the same thing he's been doing for." And, and it worked again. I, that, I know, that's and the that crazy part, again. right? It doesn't make and, and any it's, sense. It's like, all right, so Jay Leno belongs at this point on yeah. MT on, on N NBC rather doing his Jay Leno monologue jokes yeah. and asking prescripted leading questions. I, it's just what he does. Yeah, it's just Jay Leno and uh, and hitting the punchline three times. You don't have a different black guy as his band leader who yeah. laughs at him now. They yeah. just replaced Kevin Eubanks yeah. with a guy who's like. Sort of like the new Kevin Eubanks. I feel like that's because it literally thing. doesn't matter who it is as long as it's Jay Leno, people will watch. Number it. Uh, number eight, best talk show host, Johnny Carson. I'm glad Johnny Carson beat Jay Leno at least. Right. right. <laughs> I, I'm, I mean, I'm glad he made the list. The, the people who vote, the people yeah. who read, are younger. They probably sure. like Johnny Carson is is almost too too old for even me. Like I wasn't watching late night TV at that. No. Point, yeah. So. I remember the last Johnny Carson. Episode. That was huge. Like, I remember that one because that was like a cultural event. Yeah. That was like a one of those that they talk about that everyone turns their TV yeah. on at the same time and watches kind of thing. Would you say that it was it was wacky, wild stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I would say it was wacky, wild to get it. We're doing Johnny Carson. Carnac. Right, right, we're doing bits, we're doing bits, yeah. Uh, number seven, best talk show host, Jimmy Fallon. Obviously a better talk show host than Johnny Carson. Easily, 100% right. a better talk show host. <laughs> he definitely does the comedy bits really well. Yeah. I he's, still think he's not he's a good great at that. interviewer. But. He's not, interviewing is his weak point, but he's, he's good at the comedy bits. He's really good. I like how he plays games. With yeah. The, when he's playing like beer pong with January <laughs> yeah. Jones, you're yeah. like, oh, so I'm right. January Jones is a horrible person. <laughs> like you can, like, like yeah. I can tell she has a bad personality because of the way she plays beer pong. And if nothing else, that's what he does. He brings out the horrible people. Right. Oh, right. Or like Selena Gomez is bad at charades. Now we know that. We suspected it, but now it's confirmed. The number six best talk show host ever, David Letterman. Number six David Letterman. So here's the thing. I feel like we do this We do this list 15 years ago, yeah. and he, he gets all the votes. It's totally. It's a one item list. Yeah, well there were two talk show hosts then. At this point, David Letterman's stock has fallen. Sure. Uh, because He's, he's clung to it a little long, and he's lost a little of his relevance, and a new yeah. generation has stepped. I mean, he's the, he's at the tail end of his of his. I run. feel like if Jay Leno had retired, though, Letterman would have retired like a year or two later. Probably. Because I, who else does he have to compete That's with? what drives him, is just, like, it's just the Leno run. Right. At this point. The number five best talk show host ever, or best talk show host period. Jimmy Kimmel. I like Jimmy oh. Kimmel. He's just like uh, to Jay and Dave. He's like, do whatever you want. I'm going to be here. I'll be third place. I don't give a shit. Jimmy Kimmel's come a long way since mm -hmm. when he started his show. He used to do it drunk. Like yeah. he had a, like Mike Tyson or Snoop Dogg as his co-host. Yeah. And now eventually they got rid of all that. He does a monologue and does some interviews. Yeah. So. He's still a little edgier than I think the other two right. by the factor that he's younger. Number four, best talk show host, Craig Ferguson. Oh yeah. Love me some Craig Ferguson. You like Ferguson. Craig Ferguson? Oh, You're yes. a Craig Ferguson guy, okay. I, of all these ones that you've mentioned, he's probably my favorite because he, of anybody, is just like, I'm gonna do this. Yes. Hey guys, this is my all show. Right, right. He doesn't do like monologue jokes, he just tells stories. He just tells stories, right. and I think that's great. And, and like on, at the beginning of every interview, he tears up the, th the card that they give him with like talking points. Right. He doesn't care. The interesting thing is, I think that Craig Ferguson is built for that slot. Yes. Like the, the 12 30 slot. Like, he I don't can think, never do 11 /30, I don't think, no. I, and I don't think they're, they, 
intend to move him to 1130. No. When Letterman's gone, they're not going to replace him with Craig Ferguson. No, I don't think he would take the job right. either. He just belongs in like this weird late night niche area where he yeah. has these hardcore fans who love what he's doing. And But he's not he's not mainstream enough to no. do 1135. The number three <laughs> best talk show host, Stephen Colbert. Not a talk show host, but uh, good Oh, well, I mean, he's a talk show host in That's a way. That's not a talk show. A, he has he does jokes, he does interviews. He's in uh, character. Should right. you put Jiminy Glick well, on there? Well, I think that, I think that's the interesting thing is that he does it in character. Yeah. Being interviewed on there would be the most intimidating thing oh, ever because yeah. he just it's like in badger mode the entire time. Yeah. Number two best talk show host, John Stewart. Craig Kilborn has to resent what John Stewart oh, yeah. did, like I taking he, the Daily Show. I think Craig show. Kilborn resents everybody. <laughs> right. Craig Ferguson did did better with the Late Night oh, Show. Yeah. <laughs> John Stewart did better with the Daily Show. Mm -hmm. Like no one even remembers about Sports Center. Like Craig Kilborn's always been like the sort of forgotten yeah. other guy who did something first and yeah, did yeah. not as good. The number one best talk show host of all time is. Can we get a drum roll, please? Thank you. It is Conan O'Brien. And like, yeah, he's great. Everyone loves Conan. Uh, right. He's funny. It's interesting because I watch his TBS show and yeah. I actually think he I think he may have lost a little bit of the edge that he had. I don't disagree. I think that might be true. I think this, this is a legacy pick as like when, when someone yeah. says to someone in this generation who's the best talk show host. Well, Conan's yeah. the talk show host of this generation. Like Letterman was the last and Carson was before. And he hasn't really changed the format of his show since when he... Right. He, right. Even though he's now on TBS, right. he hasn't changed it from being a network late night talk exactly, show. Exactly, yeah. And he could be a lot edgier. He could, but he, yet, and yet he's still, a, he's still an excellent talk show host. Yeah. No one's going to argue with no, this. No, no, no. But, no. but it's interesting to see how he's evolved. No, he's the worst. But yeah, it's not yeah, yeah. So he's great. fuck him. But yes, he deserves. <laughs> All right, that's it for our late night talk show. Thanks to Kyle Anderson, everybody. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. You can uh, check out Kyle's podcast. WTF? Are you watching? Indeed. It is on the screen right now. Please check out 11points.com for the full results of this poll and to see how other talk show hosts like Magic Johnson finished. Uh, take a moment, please, to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out 11 Points because top 10 lists are for cowards. Thank you.